The EFL Show on TalkSport 2 with 888 Sports. Made to challenge, made to debate, made to play. 18 plus be gambleaware.org. Full-time whistle has gone here at Portman Road. Ipswich 6, Exeter City 0. The Tractor Boys are back in the Championship again after four years away in League One. Yeah, a great sense of pride, really. So happy for, for everyone, happy for the players and the staff who've contributed so much and, and happy for the supporters who you know have backed us so much, who have such a deep passion for this club. Kevin McKenna, I tell you, he's top nuts. What a few weeks, what a few months, what a season it's been. They have done it in style here. There's plenty of time for that over the next few weeks to plan everything that's going to help us be successful next year and um, I know the ambition is that we, we keep moving in the direction we're going in. It has been some day here. They've won 6-0. Ipswich Town promoted to the Championship. You're listening to the EFL show with Carling. We're made by our mates, 18+. plus. Please drink responsibly. The former Leeds United, Portsmouth, QPR midfielder, Sean Derry, live with me, Dan Windle, this afternoon on Talk Sport 2. Time for some time in League One. 13 wins in their last 14 games. Ipswich Town have been unrelenting in their pursuit of promotion to the Championship. Unbeaten in 18 league games. Kieran McKenna's side needed three more points to get it wrapped up. They went on to wallop Exeter City 4-6 at the weekend. Party times then kicked in at Portman Road. Tractor Boys top scorer, promotion winner. He's put a pint down to join us on the EFL show on TalkSport 2. Connor Chapman, <laughs> good to speak minutes. with you. How are you? <laughs> Hi Dan, Sean, you okay? Very Hi, well, Connie. very well. Six nil Portman Road win, another huge home atmosphere, securing promotion in that manner. What does it all mean to you, Connor? Oh, it was, it was incredible. Um, it's the reason that I came to the football club. So for it to uh, for it to come to fruition in the in obviously the second season I've been here, um, everyone would have loved it last year. But there was a lot of turnover, a lot of new players, um, and I think it it was just right that. Uh, this season and especially the run we've been on um, especially the, the form really since the manager come in I feel, I feel like we've deserved it One of those days that the whole town comes out for it Connor like I said another what, what, 26 plus thousand at Portman Road place rocking you're five up up to 30 odd minutes you won't yeah. forget that anytime soon will you? No it was a special special day um, it was a, obviously a nervous day with a, a lot riding on it we had um, a welcome at, at the uh at the ground before we came in, which was incredible. Sort of things you see at Champions League semi-finals and finals. It was honestly, it was it was amazing. Um, but yeah, it was a special day, and, and everyone associated with the football club deserves it. I'm just so happy that we were able to do it for them. Give us a peek behind the curtain. What have the celebrations been like over the last few days? I imagine good value. There's a there's a picture of you in your pants in the dressing room doing the rounds on social media at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how that's got out. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's been good. Um, it's been good. The town's been, the town's been crazy the last couple of days. And funnily enough, the weather's come out. I don't know. It's it's been terrible year, and the weather's come out for the, the best two days of the year so far. So it's been uh, it's been really really good. Um, and everyone's been enjoying it together. Connor, it's Sean. How are you going to approach this final week of the season, knowing that you've clinched promotion, especially in the the manner that you did on Saturday? You know, looking at historically when teams have obviously done it with a, a week or two to go that last yeah. week's been so enjoyable yeah I can't wait um, I'll be honest we was off Sunday uh, yesterday and today we've been off so honestly can't wait to go back in tomorrow um, and obviously see all the boys but genuinely we've got we've got one more game and we've got a chance of winning the title so I don't think there's much more motivation needed than that it's going to be an enjoyable week for sure um, enjoy it with all the players and all the staff but I think uh, I go I go and speak for everyone when I say that it's, it's easy motivation because we've got a title that potentially could be won on, on Sunday. I've known you for a while, Connor, bursting onto the scene at Portsmouth. Um, always knew where the back of the net was, but 29 goals in all competitions this season. They are they are staggering numbers. What Was there a day that you felt it all clicked and you've not looked back? How, how can you begin to describe the runs you've been able to go on this season? Um... I think it's been gradual. I honestly do. I think uh, the manager's big on the process, not so much results, more performance and the process. And I feel like I've been similar to myself. I feel like I've definitely been uh, better throughout the season. Um, as the season's got longer and longer, um, I've got better, I feel. Uh, the manager's helped me uh, crazy amounts. He's he's incredible. So um, a lot of thanks to him and obviously, obviously my teammates. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's been pleasing. Uh, been pleasing. I probably didn't envisage to to score quite this many. Um, but yeah, just long mate continuing. Hopefully, I can get one or two more on, on Sunday. At the ten position, you've kind of operated in mainly this season. Does does it give you that kind of playing off the front, that little bit of freedom, an excuse to say to everyone else, oh, "I'm allowed to go where I want." <laughs> Um, yeah, probably a little bit more structured than that. We play with two tens, really. So um, I'm probably the right, more often than not, been the right side of ten. Um, structurally, we've got to be in in certain positions and build up and uh, and as we advance through the pitch. But obviously, a big part of my job is is being in the box as well and, and trying to score goals um, and make the difference to the team. Connor, we know how big Ipswich Town is, and of course, being out of the Championship for. A number of years now the fans have been right behind you just how much can you lead yourself into the championship next year and hopefully back yourselves to be in that maybe promotion area yeah I think obviously it's a step up for sure um, but this club is on a is on a steep upward trajectory I don't think there's any there's any hiding from that um, the ambitions there from the owners from the chief executive from the manager um, and the players are following that. Everyone wants to wants to do well. Um, I think we'll we'll go again in the summer in terms of strengthening the squad. Um, it's going to be required to be challenging in the in the championship. I don't think we'll be looking to go into the championship and and trying to trying to stay up for sure. I think we'll be looking looking to push. Um, and that's the mindset of everyone at the club. And that's why, to be fair, Sean, it's such an exciting place to be because um, the ambition is. It's crazy at the moment um, and it's just a joy to be a part of. A couple of tweets coming into us at TalkSport 2. Connor, brilliant listening in to Connor. What a legend. Bring on Saturday. I will ask you, exclusive time, who enjoyed themselves the most over the last few days? Who are you expecting Connor to be the most sluggish <laughs> training Tuesday morning? <laughs> Can't name yourself. <laughs> it, could, it could be a few there. <laughs> it could be a few. Um, to be fair, there was there was a few survivors yesterday, so um, <laughs> there wasn't too many out on the on the, uh, on the double. So um, I'll probably have to go at Wes Burns there. He loves it, so probably Wes. <laughs> and we'll close out finally. Just a follow up on Kieran McKenna. You've touched on the gaffer and what he expects of the group, the standards he's set. I guess the the expectation that he has had to deal with this, the day, the second he walked into Portman Road. Yeah, he has. Um, he has, and I think people. Forget it. it's his first first managerial job. Um, he's been at massive football clubs before and on, on the coaching staff um, and had massive roles at those football clubs. But this is his first managerial post, and he's been incredible. Um, I think he's improved every single player in the training room, which is so hard to do, no matter what age they are, from 19 to, or 20 to lads that are in their 30s. I don't think um, there's anyone that he hasn't improved. Um, and as a team, I think we we definitely realise what we've got. Um, he's incredible, and we feel we feel really lucky to have him. Connor, brilliant to talk. Congrats yeah, at the weekend, and go and win the title now in League One. Top work, mate. Cheers, have Thanks, a great Sean. week. Connor Chaplin, Ipswich Town promotion winner and I guess to those Ipswich fans listening in this afternoon to the EFL show if anybody sees Wes Burns wandering the streets <laughs> or any of the lads in the pants for that yeah, yeah maybe time to send him home yeah. because they are back to training first thing tomorrow morning because they do have a title to win Sean dealing Kieran McKenna with serious expectation average 26,000 attendance at Portman Road this season that's what they're allowed if they could fit more in there they would have particularly in the last few months as I said what is their their recent run 13 wins in 14 mm. went to Barnsley and won no one's done that since the turn of the year um, Kieran McKenna has done a huge job there squad on paper as good as it gets at League One you've got to put it together haven't you absolutely you look at the teams in League One, some of the teams that have not even made the playoffs, Dan. You know, there's some good squads, there's good managers, good teams, historically, you know, reputational, fantastic. Mm. Ipswich are right at the top, aren't they? You've got to say, they're right at the top and they've got this manager now who's come in, breathed all this new belief into the football club. We speak about clubs that have had moments of adversity. They've had their moments, mm. Ipswich, but they've come in and they've had a great year and I think they'll be one of the favourites next year to, to make a push for the top ten. Also relentless, I doff my cap to Plymouth Argyle, joining Ipswich in the Championship Wonderful. next season. Argyle won promotion. Also this weekend, after a 1-0 victory of a Burden Albion at home part, Neil Ennis broke the deadlock 
right on half time and Plymouth hung on to win scenes of absolute ecstasy at the full time whistle as Argyle returned to the second tier for the first time since 2010 and they've had some difficult times from 2010 onwards haven't they oh my daughter was swimming in the swimming centre right next to home park and she said when the goal came wow. in it went into the swimming pool it was so <laughs> loud Dan and she's texted me there was obviously a goal next door and it was of course it was Plymouth and the job we talk about Kieran McKenna's job what he's done at Ipswich Stephen Shuey at, Shuey at the wheel. Wow, what a job he's done. Spoken about being written off as they've gone Argyle. It's fueled them. I think Stephen Schumacher's been going out of his way to find those comments, hasn't he? Well, Sticking them up on the dressing room wall. Giving them that kit when necessary. And they have delivered. There is, we spoke about character. Mm. And character is the currency that this, this game is based off right and that Plymouth Argyle group what a job character reliability personality you can name all of these um, adjectives for 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 what you want from your football club your managers your coaches your players you need it all because it's such a hard slog you know the football league season so so difficult Sheffield Wednesday Ipswich Plymouth all sat at the top of the tree at some point in the season and only two of them can get promoted it's incredible what they've achieved Sheffield Wednesday have wobbled the other two haven't no, they have had a wobble and it's come at a poor time for Darren yeah, Moore. But, but, but I, I still I, see them as the favourites though, Dan. Do you? I do, yeah. I do see them as the favourites. I just think that kind of, that that reputation that they've got there. Hillsborough. You know, Hillsborough, you know, it's so difficult playing there. Oh, I just, you know, it'd be, it, it'd be possible for a Wednesday fan to look at the last few weeks and to, to want to start to ask questions of Darren Moore and the group and why didn't we, from mm. the British we found ourselves in, finish top two? I just think you have to give utmost credit to Plymouth Argyle and for Ipswich for to. the form they have put together when the finish line came into sight. You're absolutely right because, you know, if you think about recent um, seasons, the points tally that Sheffield Wednesday have got just at this moment... Mm. They'd have walked the league. They'd have won the league on numerous occasions. So that just you've got to highlight just what a job the other two have done alongside. And it's the goal scorer at the weekend, Barley Mumba, Finazaz, these young boys that have flown at times this season for Stephen Schumacher. He obviously knows how to get good football out of young, talented players, to improve players, to work with them on the training ground, to nurture, to develop. So many have stepped up this season at home park. This wasn't in the script, Plymouth Argyle going up, was it? Well, I don't think it was, but inside the football club, I'm sure they would have backed themselves, especially the disappointment of last year. You know, sometimes that disappointment can linger. It can take, be took into the next season and it can it can act as this anchor around your feet. They've shrugged that off, got rid of it straight away, and they've had a great season. And, I mean, can you imagine the celebrations that are going off down at Plymouth at the minute? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. The entire group are probably walking around yeah. in their pants, aren't they? <laughs> League 2 to finish with this afternoon on TalkSport. We'll begin with Stevenage's promotion next. The ES-